Hello friends, welcome back to Online Maths Up. Let us solve this equation right here. So this is root 4x plus root negative x is equal to 5. And now if you want to find out the real solution, if x is real, you want to find out the real solution to this problem. Now there are some conditions that x is actually going to satisfy. First here, x is actually going to be positive and then minus x will also be positive so and for minus x to be positive of course this will imply that x is negative okay so these are the, the conditions that will be satisfied for x to be real okay so and you can see that when you combine all of these that the only condition that is actually going to satisfy this is x equal to zero okay so this is the only condition that will satisfy this for x to be greater than equal to zero and also for x to be less than zero and of course if x is equal to zero we can just go ahead to check whether this is actually going to be equal to 5. So if we see root 4 times 0 and then plus root negative 0, will all of this give you equal to 5? And of course, you see that this is not going to be equal to 5. So obviously, uh, we cannot get a real value of x that will satisfy this problem we have over here. So what we just need to do is to find a way to simplify this and then hopefully extend the solution to the uh, set of complex numbers and then we're able to find out a solution from the set of complex numbers which will satisfy this problem. Okay, so let me rewrite this and then we continue to solve from there. So this is root 4x minus root x is equal to 5. So next thing I want to do is actually to move this uh, stuff right here to the right hand side. So I'm going to be having root 4x is equal to 5 minus root negative x. Okay, so in order for us to remove all of these radicals here, we just take the square of both sides. Okay so that when we do that here these two will cancel this and then we are left with 4x on the left hand side and then if we expand this if we expand this what we, we be, what we'll be having is 2 power 5 power 2 which is 5 times 5 and that will be 25 and then uh, plus 2 times 5 times minus root negative x and that will give us minus 10 root negative x and then next we'll, we'll take the uh, square of negative root negative x okay and when we do that we're gonna be left with negative x okay so moving on i can actually push this bring this x to the left hand side so i'm gonna be having 4x plus x is equal to 25 minus 10 and then multiply by root negative x so that this is now equal to 5x is equal to 25 minus 10 root negative x so since uh, all of these are all factors of 5 we can just go ahead to divide all of the terms by 5 and when we do that this cancels this here 1 here 5 and then here 1, here 10, 2 rather. And then, of course, x is now equal to 5 minus 2. And then root negative x. Okay. Okay, so moving on, I will also uh, subtract 5 from both sides. So that I have this one that contains the radical to be just on the right hand side and then i can go ahead to also take the square of both sides again so i can remove the radical right here and if i do that this is, is of x squared minus 10x and then plus 25 is equal to 
this will be 4 multiplied by negative x okay so if i simplify this is x squared minus 10x plus 25 and then minus 4 is equal to minus let me put this this is equal to minus 4x can add 4x to both sides so this is x squared minus 10x and then plus 4x plus 25 is equal to so if i add it over here this changes to zero okay so uh, this is equal to x squared my, uh, minus 10x plus 4x is equal to minus 6x and plus 25 is equal to 0. So if you watch very well, this is not a quadratic equation, which we can use the formula methods to solve. And in this case, x is equal to minus b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac or divided by 2 times a. Okay, so if we start all of these terms, a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 6, and then c is equal to 25. So if we put all of these together, x will now be equal to, okay, minus, minus 6, plus or minus the square root of minus 6 raised to the power 2, minus 4 times a is 1 and then times 25 all of these divided by 2 times 1 moving on so this is 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 and then minus 4 times 1 times 25 is 100 and all of these divided by 2 okay and then if we proceed from here this is now 6 plus or minus the square root of 60 negative 64 okay divided by 2 and then we can actually split this as uh, 6 plus or minus root 64 and then times minus 1 or divided by 2 okay so that when we continue see this is 6 plus or minus root negative i here negative 1 here is i and then multiply by root 64 is 8 so divided by 2 and then we can actually factor 2 out here so that x is not equal to 2 into if you factor 2 out here 3 remains 3 plus or minus of uh, 4i divided by 20 this two can actually cancel this and then finally x is equal to 3 plus or minus 4i so this is not going to be the complex value or the solutions to the problem we just solved and of course when you look at this place there are actually two values of x the first one 3 minus 4i and then x2 will now be 3 plus 4i so these are all going to be the two values that will satisfy the problem we are solving so thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you've understood this like this video and subscribe to our channel for more updates and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye Oh, 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 oh,